Hey, welcome back. Come and join me for some hunting adventures. Let's go. How are you doing? Today I'm out here doing some hunting on public grounds here in Wisconsin and during this time it's the pre-rut and I love hunting. Um, those who don't know me, besides fishing, I love hunting. It's uh, something I grew up with my dad who um, I remember, man, since I was five, six where he will take me out, you know, we'll explore the outdoors and uh, hunt for squirrels and rabbits and uh, deer and things like that and so I'm truly blessed to have this opportunity to come out here and be able to share this with you all. And <laughs> it's, it's just amazing to be out here. Uh, you enjoy nature, enjoy the breeze, enjoy the wind, uh, the whistling of the wind, you know, the deer, the, the, the squirrel and the birds chirping. It's amazing, man. man I, I wouldn't take this for granted. So I'm, I'm very thankful to have this um, beautiful day to do some hunting and be able to share it with you guys again. And if you haven't yet, subscribe to the channel if you enjoy some fishing, some hunting, outdoors activities. Uh, you don't want to miss this. All right, guys and girls, let's get to hunting. All right, guys, it's nine o'clock. I just shot a deer 20 yards away from me. I'm stalking these deer and this doe came right at me. Was, I had a few shots, but sorry, I might, I might, look, I might look like and sound like I have a book for you, but I don't. I'm just kind of cold. Yeah, I'm just hunting on the off the ground, and this doe came right at me at 20 yards. And it's funny because I had the safety on, and I stopped it, but I couldn't pull the trigger, and so it gave me another shot, and I was able to stop it then. But anyways, the deer is dead 20 yards away from me. God is good. I'm out here hunting the pre-rut. And let's see if we can get a nice buck than this rut here. So I'll get back to you guys later. I'm just hunting off the ground with my crossbow, my Raven RX-26. And I'm stalking deer. And I'm learning a lot from this, this experience, learning a lot. Um, key is just be really quiet, really patient. So yeah. Alright guys, we are back at camp and I'm fortunate to have two deers to harvest two deer so I'm blessed, two doe. My dad and I are going to field dress it, clean it up and have dinner. So come and join me. Now I'm making some really good venison soup. Kind of like a stew form with lemongrass, ginger, 
Galanga, green onions, mancho, all that good stuff. It's gonna be phenomenal. It's gonna be delicious, guys. Oh yeah, chunks of meat. Uh, even like the liver. It's all very tasty. Very traditional, but that's what we come for, man. Gotta love it. Let's eat. This is what we came for, man. Venison, spicy ribs, and venison stew. Woo. Man, I can smell the aroma. It's just floating around me. Here we go with a little bit of rice. Mmm. Mmm. -mm -mm. Love the ribs. There's no words to explain this. I love the outdoors. I love camping, hunting, fishing. I'm just glad you guys are able to join me. This is delicious. Mmm. Straight up organic. It's so tender, oily, savory, spicy. Guys, you have to be here to really taste it, taste it. Mm. Today, I'm back out here, Bohan, the pre-rut, and it's like two miles per hour wind, and I love this time of the year, chasing white tails. There's some pretty fresh scrapes right, right up ahead of me, so that's pretty exciting. Beautiful day today out, it's like 32 degrees, calm wind. In the past couple of days, man, it's been heck windy. I'm gonna try to get this on film for you guys. I'll try my best to kind of keep you guys updated. So stay tuned and let's see if we can get a bug. That'd be cool. That's on, guys. I brought my rattling antlers. I'm gonna rattle. I'm gonna try a couple of sequins and ladger. I ran him one bug in, so that was pretty amazing. At this time of the year, the bug are definitely sparring and, and getting a little aggressive. Cause you know, they, they want some action, you know what I mean? They, they want to mate, uh, they want to show dominance, and you know, they gotta test out their strength. So it's a competition out here. So I'm gonna rattle them in. I'm just gonna do some, you know, very subtle um, rattling sequence. Uh, during the morning time, early in the morning is like the best time to do it when it's nice and quiet. I mean, you know, I say why not? You know, it's the first thing that you wanna, you want them to hear, right? So, um, hopefully, I can call a buck in, and I'm gonna emulate like two young buck kind of sparring. Hopefully, we can, you know, attract some deer. So, we'll see. good enough <laughs> guys I just shot a buck and I haven't been here for other 40 minutes <laughs> God is good I just shot a nice buck not a big buck but here in public ground it's decent so um, came back and checked his scrape and I shot him right by his scrape like 
Not even 20 yards from me. On the ground. Unbelievable. Yes, yes. Oh, it feels so good. You gotta love crossbow hunting. It's just, uh, it's just like another level of fun, bow hunting. And uh, don't get me wrong, I love compound bow hunting too, but crossbow ground on the ground. It's a lot of fun, man. I can hear him coming. He can't check his creep. Beautiful shot. He's down. Nice buck. <laughs> Let's go check it out, guys. I know I didn't get the shot on film, but that's okay. Um, it's not a big deal for me, but you know, I just want to share with you guys the buck. Let's go over here. See right there. There's blood right there. This way. Fletching is right here. Fletching with the arrow. There he goes. There's the bar guys. There's the bar. Perfect vital shot. What a beautiful animal. Public ground buck, guys. All my friends going hard on the weekend. Bass up real loud, it's the season. Tune it out when I hear them names speaking. Over my head, I'm jumping off the deep end. Just another song that we can get high to. Backseat zoned out at the drive through. Need a spot, yeah, you know that I got. This is my buck of the year. Down the pre-rut. I'm just really blessed, man. I don't really, honestly, I don't know what to say, but it's a nice little buck. I know it's not a, a big buck, but I'm plubber ground. This is not bad. My boy's gonna love this, so I can't wait to take this back home and share with family, my two boys and my wife. So uh, I love them a lot. They have been so good to me, and so I'm just grateful to be able, be able to come out here, enjoy the outdoors, and be able to share with you guys. So, nice, clean shot, so um, looks like I got complete pass through he didn't even go 40 yards and I was rattling in the second sequence I did like a subtle kind of like a short rattle and but then five minutes he came right behind me and didn't even know I was there so I love it when you just come here it's a beautiful day and beautiful beautiful weather and then just be able to sit into the woods and enjoy the moment and get a nice bug like this can't complain man this I love the outdoors you know hunting the hill country far walk this is not bad man this is pretty amazing we got the job done that's all that counts man that's pretty awesome past couple of days I couldn't sleep I've just been thinking about coming out here and I'm just been telling myself just John just got to get out there and hunt there's just no excuses just get out if you're not hunting you better go you better be go fishing you know <laughs> So, all right, let's drag this deer. Look out. All right, guys, I got the deer, few dressed, uh, all cleaned up properly. Um, you know, always bring gloves and bags to, you know, store any kind of inners that you want to keep. I thank you guys for watching. Um, it was a good outing just hunting the hill country here with my dad, my uncles. So it's always a blessing. And I'm glad you guys are able to join me and truly appreciate that. So don't forget to like and subscribe. I will see you on the next adventure.